Okie dokie. So a channel knife. I'm going to press this into the side of the fruit. One way to do this is like this. This one's a little weird. No, that's fine. I got to press pretty hard on it. So this is one way to use it. All right, and the, normally I try to get them long so they look pretty cool on platters or whatever. <clears throat> so that's a channel knife, channeler, I don't know what else they would call it. Oh, this also is weird because it's short. So the handle's in the way. What's that? Looks like a bean on. All right. So I can use that as garnish on a plate or a platter, right? I could. You have, how many of these do you have? Well, you got extra too. I got plenty of lines. All right. So uh, one way to do this is then make like a tulip. All right, so usually they're five. Oh, look, it almost always comes out five, at least the way I do it. All right, so I could put this on the platter, and you know I could have this. Just say it was a really nice fish dish, and I could have that on the plate, if you will, half of it. Okay. So that's uh, using the channel knife. Using the zester, I take this side of it and come this way. That's zesting. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So we said we're going to work on fruit today. Citrus. All right. So we'll do all these, but I'll start with the bigger one first. And whenever I cut fruit and most vegetables like these, like the pineapple or the cantaloupe, I'm going to cut it the same way I am right now. So, I'm gonna cut the two ends off so that they're parallel as, pos parallel as possible. All right, you need at least that much showing. I'm gonna put it down flat. And then I'm gonna try to go from here to there. It takes about 17-ish Mid to high teens, at least, on an orange and 11. All right? So, I'm a righty. I don't know what everybody is. Any lefties in here? No lefties today? Okay. So, I'm going to go this way with a knife. I'm not going to chop it straight down. My goal is to keep as much of the flesh together as possible. So, the first cut is probably very lightly coming out like that. Okay, now I know I need to follow that line, basically. So I'm going to peek over a little bit. All right, I got to come further under, huh? All right, so now I got a line to follow. Okay, I might go this way. Since that other side's a little thicker, a little wider in diameter. Okay, good. All right, so now I'm gonna go little bits like this. So you see how it's more of the pith and the peel than it is the flesh. And I wanna keep it as round as possible. You need to peek on the side, you have to. This isn't our normal
All right, and it's hard to come back and clean it up. When you start coming back and clean it up, it starts getting uh, messy. There's not a lot of pressure going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Almost always, almost always, okay? Then normally what I would do is I'd be over a the, my serving plate or whatever, and now I'm gonna supreme it. I'm gonna take the sections out, all right? For you guys, go to your paring knife and go inside each membrane and pull it out. Inside each membrane, these are called usually supremes. You're gonna have to do one of these for your final in three weeks. Wow. All right. I can tell I got a little bit of the membrane in there. There we go. Once I get going, I also just can scrape it off. Hi, Tyler. I can scrape it off the other side. All right. Okay, so that's the grapefruit citrus.